Hi everybody. Um, so today we have um, EVGA um, RTX 3070 Ti FTW3. Um, so this uh, GPU is using a similar layout um, as you know the big brother of the 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090. Uh, it's overall the same size. The PCB is a bit different, uh, but the cooler is the same. So um, you know the objective today is just to show the process of opening up, changing the pad and closing the GPU. Um, so I'm using uh, you know, those pieces of uh, pre-cut pads. Um, so that's going to be easy to replace. They have different thicknesses. Um, so we'll go through that. Um, this GPU is not overheating. The pads have already been replaced with uh, thermal right uh, or, or jellied pads. Um, so it runs nice and cool already. So this is purely to illustrate the process um, and we'll also see if there's any temperature difference, but um, I don't have much expectation to see anything significant. Um, so it's just for the process. So let's get started. Um, so the layout is the same as, um, you know, like I said, the 3080. So you need to remove, um, you know, those five screws uh, plus those four there. And you can access uh, the front side of the PCB. If you wanted to access the rear side of the PCB, you'll have to remove um, the other screws, which are being held together with um, a, a screw and a nut. Um, we're not going to do that. The person before already put some parts on the back. They are not very necessary. If you want to do that, you can. It doesn't hurt. Uh, but here, because you know, the, from EVGA, there are no parts in the back. We're not going to bother going there. Um, it's pretty tedious and takes time to, to work with the nuts because they are very small. Uh, so I'd rather not do that if it's not necessary. Um, so let's get started already on, on opening it up and changing this part. It should be a rather straightforward and quick process. Um, the cleaning part is probably going to take the most of the time. So. That's it for the screws. Um, so now we can just um, flip it and open it up. So you have three connectors there, uh, which are for the fan. And you have one additional connector there that's uh, for the RGB, I believe. So this one we'll have to disconnect, uh, but hopefully we can work on the GPU without disconnecting those three. The reason for that is because the plastic clip tend to break. So one possible, I like not to, um, you know, work, you know, use this one too much. So, um, let's see, let's take the one on the side out, just pinch it and pull, and you can flip it open and that's it. Uh, the GPU is already open. Um, so you can see the person before um, used um, multiple layers of uh, one millimeter pieces and um, no, it works. It's, it's not ideal, obviously you rather use a single piece, but uh, it works so there's no issue there. Um, so uh, this one seemingly was not replaced. So we're going to replace that. You have a three VRAM pads. You have one additional piece and that's all you have on that GPU. Um, so it's pretty clean, so let's just remove those pieces of pad um, and, and replace that. Um, and that would be it. So the thermal paste on the core is really not too bad. We, we could keep it as is, um, but we'll for the ease of cleaning, we're just going to wipe it off and clean everything. So this is isopropyl alcohol. Um, you can just spray it on the GPU. I know some people don't like it, but you know it's evaporating within a few minutes. Um, there's no issue with that. It's not water.
That's it. Was already pretty clean, so pretty straightforward. It has a little bit of pads left on the side of the module. It's not an issue. All that matters is really the surface to be clean. Um, so, like I said, we have pre-cut pieces um, that are going to go there. These are uh, two millimeter thick, I believe. Um, this one there, I'll have to check. It's either one and a half or two, just whatever I. Put as comment, and this is um, half a millimeter, I believe, or, or one millimeter again. I'll post um, the actual value. So let's put the pads on, replace the paste, and close it up. Okay, let's put the thermal paste on it. You don't need to put too much and you want to spread it uh, to make sure it's covering the surface properly. it and now we can just close the GPU back um, so when you flip it make sure the parts do not fall off make sure you put the connector back in place um, in the process and you can look through the holes make sure it's well centered if you go into that corner, there is a little bit of a groove in which you know this all goes. So this is where this is useful to center the rest of the of the bike plate. So you can fill it, put it in place, all did, and you know make sure everything else is settling fine. Apply some pressure to make sure you have good contact everywhere, and then uh, you can start working on putting the screws back. Alright, so for the four screws that are holding, um, basically pushing on the core, it's always the same thing. Um, you want to first just barely set the screws in, um, and then you go around and progressively tighten things up. If you tighten one corner first all the way, you're going to squeeze the paste um, in the opposite direction and you're going to create a major hot spot. Let's make sure everything is nice and tight. And that's it. Um, so this is it. Um, the process is pretty straightforward. We replaced uh, the pad on uh, EVGA, RTX 3070 Ti, FTW3. Um, the same process applies to basically any of the 3070 Ti from EVGA. They are very similar layout. Um, so I'll post the results, but again, I am not anticipating any major uh, temperature difference because the pads had been replaced very recently on that one with uh, you know different pieces, um, and the card was already running very cool. Um, so thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.